Hey, what up guys? And in this one, I'm head off to Cinnabar Hills Golf Course and they have three nines there. I'm playing the lake and the canyon nines. So let's go out there and see how I did. All right, hole one, here we go. Hit a pretty good drive here off the first tee. Had no time for warm up as we were the first ones off. It was really cold, so for my second shot, just laid it up to the right-hand side and just try to advance as far as possible with confidence. And as you can see in my third shot here, there's ice on the ground. Things were a little bit chilly this morning, so uh, taking that into account, I just go for the biggest part of the green. It hits on and rolls out to where you see me putt right now. But yeah, first part of the day, doesn't go that great. Breaks way more right to left than I anticipated. And so I have, do have a testy one for uh, my par here. And so here's the par attempt. And as you can see, yeah, don't convert there. And I end up with the bogey on the first. All right, coming up next is a pretty, pretty tough par three. Lots of trouble left, so obviously I'm going to hit it way out to the right. Unfortunately, I end up losing this ball. And I didn't re-tee, so I end up just taking a drop and a two-stroke penalty. And uh, yeah, this one, the, the blow up continues. I end up hitting this chip off the back of the green. So I'm chipping on just to, you know, see if I can get close to make up for a triple here. And now I'm putting for a triple bogey. I'm way behind the count in terms of strokes. And yeah, I don't convert that. So end up getting a quad bogey here and starting the day off five over after two holes. All right, trying to get my bearings back. Hit a really good drive off the tee on this one. Pretty cool hole with views everywhere. Uh, end up being close to this trap on the right hand side uh, that being said straightforward next shot end up slipping ever so slightly but took a little extra club to make sure things roll out there end up getting onto the green and regulation so here's my next putt i thought the dew would take in count for you know slower paced putts but it didn't really change the pace at all so i end up blasting it by and then off your screen i hit another putt and fortunately i end up hitting this one uh, into the hole so here is the return putt uh, just coming from off your screen right now and up draining that one so bouncing back from a terrible start all right next up is a pretty cool par four all uphill uh, lots of room to the left but not too much room on the right hand side where you kind of want to be hit that one pretty good with my driver and i end up blading the crap out of my next shot fortunately it only ends up on the back side of the green but i have a really tough chip here so uh, i take it up way up into the right on the hill and yeah, this one just rolls off to the green. So um, pretty much I tried my best, but that's as best as I could muster. And then I have this uh, next putt for my par. And as you can see, uh, really like where I left this putt. Just an easy bogey. And I'll take that at this point in the round because I'm trying to recover after a rocky start. All right, this next hole is a downhill par four. If you hit the oh, yeah. speed slot in the middle of the fairway, you can get pretty close to the green. I unfortunately get caught up on the right-hand side, so I have a side hill lie. Uh, but my next shot into the green ends up being pretty good. It hits on the front of the green and starts rolling towards the pin. And so I have maybe like a 20-footer or so just for my birdie. Unfortunately, I end up hitting this one too hard. It's a, you know, back to or front to back sloping green. And the downhill just takes it. And here's the comeback. And I start walking in a little bit early there. So, yeah, I end up getting another par here. All right, this next hole is very forgiving on the right-hand side, not so forgiving on the left-hand side. I end up hitting, like, to the right of the card path, and it ends up getting a very forgiving kick to the middle of the fairway. So that being said, next shot, pretty straightforward. Just take a wedge here and hit it onto the green. And so here's my first kind of green in regulation where I have a good chance at birdie. So here's the birdie putt. And yeah, unfortunately, just barely missed this one outright. So I'll take a tap-in par any day of the week, though. All right, coming up next is a par five that has a creek running across it that's about 270 to 80 yards. And unfortunately, I do hit it in this creek. Didn't think I would reach there, so I end up taking a drop and taking a penalty stroke. And so now I'm behind the stroke count. So next up, I just lay it up to the right-hand side, and I set myself up for a dicey shot into the green with the, pin, with the pin tucked to the left, and I end up going a little left of that and sticking it. So here is the par attempt. Uh, which would have been a birdie without the penalty end up missing that and just tapping in for a net bogey here so i'll take the bogey after a penalty stroke all right next up is a par three take the boring approach here and aim for the dead center of the flag ends up being the right club and so i have like a 20 foot plus putt for my birdie unfortunately this one ends up rolling by a good seven feet or so and so i have a long returner just to make up my par and end up draining it. So getting back on track here, head into the next hole. 
All right, this next hole's pretty straightforward if you can land it in the fairway off the tee. Uh, that's what I end up doing here and setting myself up for a pretty simple shot into the green. Uh, this one hit it a little heavy here, and it's a little uphill, so it ends up being short of the green. And so I have, you know, this putt just to get my birdie. And I leave this one a little short because I respect it a little bit too much, maybe scared from my other putts that rolled way past, and I just want to give myself an easy par. So that being said, 7 over, not bad with a quad on the second hole. All right, so we're headed to the canyon course now. Uh, this is a par 4 that's just straight away, a little uphill, and I'm hitting a pretty good drive. The muscles are getting a little bit warmed up after the front 9. Uh, this second shot, tug it ever so slightly, uh, end up being just off of the green, and so I have this putt for uh, my birdie from off the green, and as you can see, it is a slope green from left to right. Uh, my friend makes me putt this out, which I don't blame him because I end up missing it. So end up starting off with the bogey on the back nine. Like All right, this next shot is a downhill elevated tee shot, and pretty much I take out my hybrid here and hit it pretty decent. Uh, just flirting with the left hand side waist area but i'm in the fairway uh, this next shot is over water to kind of a protected green end up taking a little extra club because i was a little scared of being short and it hits off the back side and so i have you know this you know putter from off the green for my next shot so here's the birdie attempt i hit it way too hard and so i'm pretty much almost the same distance if not further for my next putt so here is the par attempt and yeah, I just don't give it enough and uh, end up just being, you know, tapping in for another bogey. So bogey bogey start on the back nine. All right, this next hole is a very short par four. So I end up just taking a five iron off the tee. Uh, it leaves me with a decent distance for my next shot into the green. Uh, it's not one of those holes you can drive from off the tee because you can see that creek that runs across. So there's a lot of trouble and it narrows up to hit drivers. So I don't think that's an option. End up hitting onto the green for my second shot. And this next one I end up rolling, you know, pretty decently, and I just end up tapping for a par. So not bad start for the back nine. Unfortunately, this drive uh, ends up being a little bit more left than I anticipated. Ends up kicking into this creek. So you can see me hitting out of this creek now uh, for my second shot. I end up getting contact on the ball. Uh, it hits these trees that you can see up above, and then ends up rolling onto the car path and then rolling to this position. Oh I end up taking a lot more dirt and not hitting enough of the ball, so I just chunk it to this position. And then I hit a pretty decent chip onto the green, but I have this one for my bogey here and didn't even give it a chance here. So I end up just tapping in for a double bogey, but unfortunately my drive off the tee went into the creek, which was the big mistake. All right, so unfortunately another blow up hole is gonna happen before your eyes. I hit this one way short into this dried up creek, which is pretty much all fescue. So I hit another ball and this one actually goes onto the green. And so, yeah, I end up looking down there, couldn't find it. So end up just taking my second shot. And this pin position is pretty diabolical if you're above the hole. So as you can see, I try to hit way up to the right, ends up breaking in front of the hole and actually going off the green. And yeah, pretty much left it in a terrible position for myself. And here's my next shot. Unfortunately, it ends up like chipping off my putter face. And so I have this long one just for a triple bogey. And yeah, I don't convert that. So I end up getting a quad bogey when it's said and done. All right, this next hole is a tricky, you know, three shot par five. I end up just taking like a mini driver off the tee because uh, I don't want to go too far into this front creek. I lay up with my second shot with a five iron just to get in a good position for my third shot. Just want to make sure I clear that creek and you know stay out of trouble. So here's the sh third shot with my eight iron. Get safely aboard. And so I have a decent look at birdie actually here. So nice little bounce back from the last hole. As you can see, the greens continue to be pretty crazy. Uh, this one broke quite a bit, but fortunately was just able to tap it in for par. So a good par recovering after a quad bogey. All right, this next hole is probably the only hole on the course to kind of have a gripe with because due to this pin location, after a good drive, I couldn't even see where the pin was for my second shot. Um, didn't have enough time to go up to the uh, the hole to see because uh, it's cart path only, and so we're spending a lot of time and there's people behind us. So my second shot ends up being short. Uh, the third shot ends up hitting onto the green, unfortunately kicks to the back and it rolls off. And so I'm just trying to get up and down now just to save bogey here. So end up hitting a really good chip here. And I have a short one for my bogey. 
And yeah, I think if I were able to see a pin here, I'd probably be in a better spot, but we're moving on. All right, next up is a killer par three, 209 yards to the pin. I end up flaring this one to the right hand side and being super short. And so here is my chip onto the green. And yeah, I just didn't want to be short and I wanted to give myself a putt. So therefore I end up being pretty long. And as you can see for my putt coming up, I just want to get two putts and be out of this hole. So here's the first putt ends up being okay. And I end up just tapping that one in for bogey. So uh, coming into the 18th, 17 over. All right, this last hole is a beautiful one off the tee. I'm just safely aboard here over these sand traps. Uh, but yeah, if there's wind playing in your favor, you can probably hit a long bomb here. That being said, my second shot, I just lay it up to where I'm sure I'm over the hazard and what I thought was clear of these sand traps, but I end up just being right of them. Uh, this next shot is pretty straightforward, just a 75 yard wedge. Hit it onto the green, I'm safely aboard. And then I have this one for my birdie. And yeah, I don't convert this one, but I'll take it. 17 over with two blow up holes. All right, as you can see, not the result that I wanted. I did have two quadruple double bogeys. Um, so that that's obviously not conducive of great scoring, but I had a really good time. Cinnabar is a great challenge and a really interesting track. And it's always hard to get tee times there. So whenever it's hard to get a tee time at a place, you know it's got to be good. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Keep chasing and I'll see you in the next one.